you too. It's Commander Bruce here. It's been a while. Um, you know, it's been a lockdown, so can't really do too much fishing. Obviously, we want to abide by the guidelines and rules and everything. You know, Doug sucks. But what do you have to say, Bo, so far? What do you think? I used to love Doug, but he's a piece of shit, man. All these stupid lockdowns, but hey. It's Today it's over. Up. It's open and ready to catch some big fish. So, where are we going, Bo? So, we're going to Georgian Bay. And we rented a uh, nice little cottage on an island. We got so, our own private island. So we're expecting some massive fish to be lurking around the depths. Because of the isolation, it's very helpful for that. Anyways, see you soon. Alright, so uh, we made it to the port. Um, some nice boats here. What do you think? Well, all the boys are on the cottage in the island. and We got to get to the island. We're figuring it out. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, so uh, apparently Jordan and Julian are lost at sea. So, and they're kind of our uh, medium to uh, get to the island. Um, so we're just hoping for the best, keeping our fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Luxury cruise here. <laughs> nature. 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 Alright, so we just got to the cottage. Jordan's had a lucky day already. What do you catch today? What do you get? Got a small eight, about one and a half pound, as you can see here. Uh, private Jew is cooking it up. What's up everyone? What do you have to say about the what are you using today for your cooking? So, you know, we took the meat off it. Again, one and a half pounds, not too much meat, but a decent amount for the boys. You clean it, wipe it down with some paper towel, some egg, some flour, into the fry. Nice. What do you think the mercury, mercury level is in the fish? Um, that one. Uh, right, first bite. The one who caught it. Get right out of time. Yeah, yeah right. everyone else give it right out of time. Yeah. Decimals included. 40 give it out of time. What did so far? I give Whoa. it one bite of the beans. You want two, he, two bite. bites before he rates it? That means it's good. It's 8.7. Whoa! That's, that's no. So it was a pretty brutal trip, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, the traffic took about four hours, which is terrible, but he was pretty nice. Out here on the water, today we're going with a red devil uh, spoon. Single hook, so it's, uh, you know, it's definitely, definitely unorthodox uh, rig. But, uh, yeah, we got, found another guy on the side of the road. Decided to pick him up. Sergeant, up? Sergeant Stefano. What's up? New crew addition. And, um, yeah, he's the one who gave me the spoon, so shout out to him. And, uh, yeah, so I'll uh, keep you posted on the action. Hey guys, I'm back here. So I uh, just missed uh, probably like a two, two to four pound uh, smallie. Uh, I'm using the Red Devil and uh, the single hook, you know, it struck and uh, there's no luck. Just couldn't uh, land it, but it jumped out of the water. It's a beautiful lake. See all the boys are ready to go. The whole squad, the whole gang is uh, got the lines in the water last couple hours in the day, first day. You know, if you don't catch a fish, it's not a big deal, but would be nice to have a little feast tonight. That knows that marketing, putting it out there will get him more business, which means that he will do it. He's like, that's not dumb. Right? He knows the business side of everything. 
And I, I all I have to tell him is I have a buddy that does this. He just wants to meet with you, and he will meet with you, and you tell him everything. And what, what we'll do? Approach you. The way it works, I do association, right? Let's see. Yeah. Engineering, uh, mechanical engineering. Yeah. And then there's the construction association here. Yeah. The, uh, concrete association. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll look at your dad with me. Yeah. Spend about an hour doing some research. Yeah. Find exactly what he wants to do. Yeah. Or even talk to him. Yeah. And I will tell you the association. Yeah. Your dad will know. Hundred percent. Yeah. He will. He will. He will. He will. Yeah. If I. Will. All right, like it's 3 a.m. You know, like I want to be straight up. We sent it pretty hard tonight. Like I'm pretty like I'm gone, man. Like you know what? All right, what are you? Hello, guys. Um, we're gonna come at you with uh, amazing fishing today. Let's uh, get some of the some of the other boys. Uh, I'm going to be honest, uh, I've been in jail for uh, almost three years now and I just came, um, the fishing today was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good today, I'm not going to lie to you, it was pretty good. So I lost the fish, but I cooked the fish, Jordan got a fish, I cooked it, we ate it. The problem is we can't land them. When, when you're going for the fish that you're trying to eat during the challenge, you have no choice but to get up at this time. And you had a bad day. Julian, thanks so much. What time do you think we should get up at Fairford to fish if we're trying to catch some food? Wait, give me a second. Your time? He's gonna say he's gonna say any time between 5:30 and 6:30. Listen, okay. that is be. truly false. When do you think the money zone is? What time? 4 a.m. is that's the money fair. If that's what the app says, that's fair. Money time. Give an absolute analysis. Fishing at nighttime means walleye. Walleye bite during the night. You know what? I wouldn't mind a catfish, but I would catch and release it. I'm not a big catfish guy. I want a walleye at night. Thank you. All right, what do we have here, Drew? A white claw. What do you catch? What do you catch? <laughs> this is a uh, this is a Boris the frog. That looks pretty ugly, to be honest. Whoa, what are you saying about our boy Bo? Yeah. Eat the dog. All right, what do you Oh, think? there's a pepper out in there. Oh, it's just alive. a fish. He's still alive. <laughs> well, we caught, night, fish. caught a nice fish here. <laughs> the fish. Jordan, what do, you, what do you catch? Caught a nice smallie here. Uh, a couple of bullfrogs. My family of frogs. <laughs> and you also seem to have caught some pepperettes. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the plan. I'm going to put that. What was that noise? What's the plan? Okay, so we're gonna put a frog on Tenzin because he's been sleeping all day, wasting his yeah, day. He deserves, <laughs> he deserves the frog. He needs but a prank. <laughs> just touch him one time. Just touch him one time. No, man. It's not up. a snake. It's a frog. Okay, I'll fucking touch you, man. Don't. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Don't throw it. Let him touch it. Put it in front of you like that. Put it on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Black flies, man. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we got nice tinner. We uh, got it on Kijiji for ten dollars. Not bad. Not bad. And uh, today I got my first mate, Steph here. He's uh, you know, he's, he's decent fisherman, I think. We uh, we struck out the first day, but today is a much uh, longer day. Some good uh, good winds coming from the east, so I, I mean, it's a good sign of fish, I'd say. High fish levels. Yeah, so bull caught a beast. Boris, what do you, what do you think of bull's fish? Uh, I think it's pretty good. I think. I don't know if it's a very healthy fish though, it could be a little stinky. Yeah, it didn't look huge, but it's a good start. Captain Bo, what do you have to say about your fish? What? Last fish. What would you rate it out of 10? Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice pound or two fish right there. Oh, I'd say about 15 inches. Good day. Oh, nature, nature. I don't know what it is. 
Big Steph's in a little, little, tight, little fight here. Oh, it's a bass. A nice one, too. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh. Pretty good. Pretty big, I think. Not bad. Nice bum. All right, we just had a little barbecue. Now we're going back on the waters. Two fish today. Soon a double that, at least, for sure. Secret Asian man here uh, has sunstroke. Uh, I don't know if he's doing too well. Yeah. All right, we made it to the second spot. Where do you think the second spot? I think it has good potential. I think there is a monster in here, and yeah. I think it is a week. Yeah, there's definitely some uh, big fish just coming through this uh, little channel right here. Highly likely of uh, Cahoon potential, just due to the fact that it connects two big lakes. So uh, anyone who wants to get to the breeding nest, gotta come through here. All right, we caught a little baby small. I think it's feast. What do you think? Yeah, this is good for a few nugs for sure. Yep. Absolute feast. Yeah. Right after another little. This one's a rock, rocky road. Do you think we should feast it? Ten out of ten feast. I think we could feast, feast it. That's feastable. Look at that monster. He looks like he's sick. Oh, she got COVID. Ew, looks like he's dying. Another little shit fish. Monster. From the beneath. Another big no. bass over here. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh. shit. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, boys, after about 30 bad fish, so I, I've been fishing really bad fish. Eventually, one finally came out. Nice smallie. Probably about a pounder. I give it about time. Nice. nice oh, another smallie. Another little baby boy. This guy's toasted. He's a feast. All right, Steph just caught another nice size smallie from the honey hole. This is a good one. The honey hole's getting cleared. <laughs> the big ones are coming yeah. to play, though. They're pissed. They're pissed. <laughs> Not a bad day in terms of the bass department. We did pretty well, I'd say. I think we cleaned up, cleaned up the ocean. What do you think? The ocean has been cleaned. There's no bass in existence anymore. <laughs> no complaints. So you're just gonna cut them open. Well, what do you bad. think of the bass family? It's, it's, it's good. It's good fish, but it's mass genocide. <laughs> what do you think of the of the family? I mean. So, what are your final thoughts on the trip, Captain? I think uh, I'll give it a nine out of ten. And uh, the reason it's not 10 out of 10 is because there's no big fish caught. There's many fish caught, but not big fish. What do you rate your bass out of 10? It's a 4. It wasn't yeah. a good bass, but it's, yeah. it's okay. What are your thoughts, Private Jew? Thumbs up? Epic. Jordan, what do you think? Thumbs up? Love, love, love to hear it. Bend it over, I'm on top of no time, she call me poppy, I hit it with no sign. She like, Jay, can I get some dick cover for her? I'm like, yeah, check it out. Close the door.